Air ran NIS, 27 moons, 22 of them you don't even need to know. But the biggest 5, they are also major moons that each one being unique, but everyone only knows about the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. I don't like that, I'll make a shout out, letting everyone know that Uranus is also very flavorful. Ariel, one of the closest moons to the planet. This moon is all about being fancy and bright. It's the most reflective moon of Uranus, like it's constantly trying to ask for subscribers. Scientists think it might have some fresh ice on its surface. You know, the cool moon, literally. The theme color of Ariel is also a cool gray. Next up, the Zumbriel, the emo kid of Uranus moons. It's kind of like the shadow version of Ariel, the two satellites are almost the same size, same mass, even same proportion of ice and rocks, but unlike shining Ariel, Umbriel is not an easygoing kid, it has a low albedo, meaning it is dark, moody, and doesn't reflect much sunlight. There's only one class of geological feature on Umbriel, craters. A bottomless well of craters. Basically, it's the moon that sits in the back of the classroom, wearing headphones and mining bitcoins. And then there's Titania, the leader of a packed rocks. This is the biggest moon of Uranus, about half the radius of Jupiter's moon Europa, and it knows it. Titania's surface is covered in canyons and valleys, which, pretty ordinary, like a small, icy version of Mercury. Compared to Ariel, it is a bit more brownish, forming a unique theme color. Oh by the way, do you know that Europa is very likely to have an underground ocean? This dude may also be massive enough to quietly possessing an underground ocean, even an entire underground biosphere. Oberon, the quiet sibling who just wants to be left alone. It's darker and redder than Titania as the second largest moon of Uranus and lives way out on the edge of the family. Impact craters and canyons flows around the entire celestial body, even Umbriel is impressed by just how many craters on this moon. While everyone else is busy being shiny, dramatic, or emo, Oberon's just chilling, doing its thing. Respect. Finally, Miranda. Closer to Uranus than Ariel. It's small, just barely a ball, but one of the scenic attractions of the solar system. Obviously only the size of an asteroid, not even bigger than Pallas. It has a wonderful terrain that is the envy of the other four large moons. There are cliffs up to 10 kilometers high and canyons up to 20 kilometers deep. If this large family has any common trait, it is. All made of rocks and ice. Which Uranus moon is your favorite? Or do you want to know about the worlds outside the solar system? Thanks for stopping by, see you next year.